Aquarius, this is an abundant time for you when it comes to ideas and creative inspiration. Um, also a sense of you being able to inspire others by allowing yourself to be inspired. So it's not just, um, it's not just a time of great invention, like mad scientist invention, because it kind of is for you, but through your behavior and what you're casting out, um, there's a great deal of inspiration that's going to be going on. I do feel that there's been a little bit of a separation between you and what you've wanted to do because you can get very carried away in purpose and lose your place in terms of creation and creativity. And that's what this, this kind of aura or mentality is about for you right now is getting back to your essence, that soul self, that the essence of who you are and your creative spirit, instead of just trying to make things work or figuring out, you know, what fits the best, there is this sense of finally being able to cast worries away um, and cast obligations away and be able to get back that creative prowess that really fulfills you and makes you feel extremely alive. Um, there's a fierceness and a ferocity toward your patience and acceptance of the current situation and what that ends up being, cause that sounds really complicated, but what that ends up being is essentially you lacking fear, um, you letting, you letting fear go. Um, so that actually not, it's not so much opening doors because I don't see you even caring about doors opening for you right now. You are very, very involved with the freedom that's coming from your own mind and your own place in this galaxy and in this universe. Um, there can be a lot of travel here, growing and understanding and knowing different people and opening up. It's almost like if you yourself represented community, um, community is starting to open up and be welcoming and, and welcome people back in and, and bring people together, um, be able to visit, be able to explore, be able to not just explore through imagination, but in, explore to get inspiration. Um, I do see you really taking off creatively. I mean, there's there's some sort of creative work here that's happening or sort of flooding out of you. Now, if there has been a sense of writer's block or any kind of, you know, like creative barrier that you had hit, it's, it's breaking out. And, I, and at this point, it doesn't even have to make sense. And don't make it, try to make it make sense. That's my best advice to you right now is don't try to make anything that you're, you're, anything that you think or anything that you feel, don't try to make it make sense. Associate it with a color and just spit it onto a canvas and then step back and interpret it after the fact, like after the purge, you want to, you want to try to like, you're, in other words, in terms of all the zodiac signs, your communication, because this time right now is really about communication, because this week was led by this beautiful uh, lunar eclipse in Gemini. So it's all about changing the way that you communicate. So right now, it's not about volume. It's not about range. It's not about reach. It's about, for you especially, pure, unadulterated, abstract expression. So what I would recommend to you is just get it out what whatever you're working on if you're working on a novel don't worry about the words let it be jumbles you know put the two before the four put the it but when where just like almost like spit out rhythms instead of instead of like sentences that mean something it's not about diction right now it's about it's about um musicality more or less um there's an abstraction to your work that you need to allow yourself to release in order to be able to then sit back and make sense of it you'll make sense of it later and the most beautiful part about making sense of it, Aquarius, is that you'll be making sense of only the parts of it that actually work for you. And you'll be able to just let the other other stuff float away, um, float away into space. Ooh, my hands just got awesome. Okay. So this is commitment. It's not just ring. It's commitment. So it's not necessarily just commitment to... Um, 
it's it's uh it, it's being able to commit your action your words to action it's being able to commit yourself to a process it's being able to maybe sign contracts or ultimately there is a sense of um i don't know some of you could be ending a relationship but it's not a bad thing it's actually a liberating thing something that would free you so relationship might not necessarily be and and, and with this it doesn't necessarily mean marriage it could just very be will be handing somebody papers and um, saying goodbye one of the best things that could happen to you actually is to just cut yourself free from something that you had committed to or from a pattern that you committed to you know like say you got stuck in a rut in terms of your work and it was getting really boring and you didn't really know what the next step was well now you know the next step and you can break the ties with the old steps you can get onto a whole new set of stairs um there's just this beautiful catharsis that's happening to you um if you have been feeling hesitant or wary about uh any kind of communications or not accepting it's not about not accepting an opportunity though step out of your comfort zone and balance spirituality with practicality um yeah this is about trusting your instincts this is about trusting your internal desires and letting your head get out of your way and letting your heart speak straight straight for, for itself um you know, Gemini is about one-on-one -on -one communications, and a lot of times, I think, uh, you, as an air sign, you don't have any problems expressing or communicating your ideas, but Aquarius has the most trouble expressing their feelings. Um, you are the fixed air. You are that sense of uh, thoughts that actually block emotions as opposed to why? Because it's like you're trying to emotions aren't necessarily something that you can make into tangible or really describe unless you're using poetry or some sort of prose or 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 song or music. So there's always an abstraction when it comes to articulating or using words and thoughts to describe feelings. So it's more about um now just like enough like enough with the words stop trying to to stop trying to deal in words you have to just do unadulterated emotions so even if you're writing a book it may um it's like this is all example right but even if you were writing a book it may help to draw pictures or just splash paintings or or you know you're you're feeling something about what happens with the characters next so instead what you do is you just you you take paint and you splash that color onto a page so there's a sense of just letting that emotion flow so that you can then go back and say okay this is what's happening and this is what i'm feeling and almost almost describe what you've painted or created or or emotionally expressed as opposed to trying to describe everything that you see in your head it will come out better that way um there is a sense of expression here as well as connecting to maybe even communicating with and learning from other people that are interested in the same things as you finally having the courage or finding the courage to um not not it's not about asking for help but actually um reach out to somebody else and and not try to do it alone so many times aquarius you you try to go go it alone do things by yourself um it's not no no this is about reaching out and actually doing something in combination with in connection with with other people but people who have similar mindsets uh to you or who are interested they may not agree with you but they're interested in the same things this is a sense of you're you're now surrounded by people that you know that you can be yourself around so this could actually be speaking to spending a lot of extra time with your family and your close friends and because you feel so safe now you're able to actually come out and communicate express those feelings that you had maybe not even been able to articulate to yourself and i think that that's what's most important for you is that you are able to first articulate what you're feeling to yourself right now because um aquarians you have a tendency to feel so much but as soon as you feel it, you suppress it so there's a sense of just getting them, getting your feelings to a point where you can touch them and you can understand them. So, so it'll be easier for then you. 
for, for you to then communicate it to somebody else, but like take one step at a time and articulate your feelings to yourself first and get comfortable with them. And then you're sharing them with, with somebody else. You're sharing your experiences, maybe your life, maybe your livelihood, maybe you're partnering with somebody. There is a sense of finally being able to reach out and connect and have a conversation that will lead to education and learning and understanding things that you didn't understand before because when we get caught in our own space we can just figure things out based on our personal experiences but when you open yourself up to somebody else's thought process you see things from a totally different perspective so and that's going to be happening to you a lot right now is you even if you're not trying being very open or very interested in what somebody else is saying in other people's perspective it's not even that you're looking for it it's just that it'll like Huh? And you'll sort of, sort of like just want to listen all of a sudden, almost be like obsessed with what they're saying because it, it, you're so in tune right now to being more open to things that you couldn't figure out yourself, right? It's just, it's just universe guide me, God guide me. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, um, because it's, this isn't, this is a, in other words, something that once made you very afraid, you've now kind of realized that it's not as fearsome as you thought it was. In fact, what's more fearsome is not confronting it at all. Here's this sense of stepping outside your comfort zone. Um, find out where your north node is. Um, most of you, a lot of people who who know who who follow astrologers online, they already know their north node. So anytime this card shows up, I recommend that you go and see where is my north node. What is it trying to teach me? What is the energy trying to say to me? Um, those are important things to know so that you can apply it to this energy right now and say, okay, um, this is this uncomfortable place is good for me to go. Um, this is, yeah, yeah. Um, like a lot of fixed signs, you can be an extremist. Um, and, and, and that's just natural to who you are. So there is that sense of... Um, the balance zone is is your uncomfort zone, your discomfort zone. Um, so there's a sense of figuring out a way to, yes, you're spiritual and yes, you're passionate about that spirituality and you're philosophical and you're, oh, but also it's like now I have to find that middle ground and that bridge and that connection, what connects me to the tangible and the practicality and the reality like I don't want to just sit here and conceptual in other words you're sick of just conceptualizing you're ready to manifest something um, and so what that means is stepping into a zone that is not necessarily the most comfortable for you because it relies on other people it re relies on reaching out to somebody else whether it's for education or advice or partnership or an application for a loan whatever it is there's that sense of, of um, there's that sense of, it, you know, it's time, it's time, it's time to ask, it's time to do something that maybe you haven't done before, or you've been avoiding. The wonderful thing about this energy is that you are so inspired by the next step or, or, or achieving something, or you're so interested in something that you actually have the energy to just like, you actually have the energy to actually confront what needs to be confronted. You actually have the energy to move forward, even though technically it's very uncomfortable for you. So um, you will have the strength. I, I call it, you know, walking on shaky legs. You will have the strength to walk on shaky legs. You'll be able to keep yourself strong enough to realize, you know what? Sometimes our legs shake. Sometimes we're new at things. Like it's like Bambi. You know, he fell down half a dozen times in the first scene that he showed up in. You know, it, it, it's just sometimes we have shaky legs. It doesn't mean that we're not meant to walk. It means it's our first time trying. So it's okay if you fumble a little bit. It's okay. Um, it's also a sense of you may be confronting somebody that you haven't confronted or uh, in a while. You may find that in your life, um, somebody is coming back, especially if they are in Aries. Somebody's coming back into your life. You haven't talked to them for a, a while, but you've kind of felt it on the horizon. You've kind of felt that they somehow, you know, you've, you've been hearing their name come up in conversations a lot. Um, maybe, maybe you've gotten a few random texts here and there. I'm, I'm not saying that they're coming back in your life 
for romantic reasons, I'm saying you're just have, gonna have to, you're gonna find yourself in a situation where you're gonna have to communicate with them. So that cer certainly translates to communicating with somebody that you don't really, really want to communicate with, but there's something here, um, especially it has to do with family, um, that you will have to communicate uh, for in order to achieve a common goal. And it's not comfortable, but ultimately, it's for the best. And so you have the strength to do it. Um, but this person, I, I feel this energy. This person makes you uncomfortable. Um, they, they do. And that's that's the reason. But understand that that's the reason why they're not a real part of your life anymore. And this is not going to last. It's just a passing. If you have to talk about something and you have to you have to finish things, maybe you're finishing up a divorce or you're signing paperwork or, you know, you're, you're ending something, you're finishing. It could be the finishing of a commitment to each other or just an, an officialization of all of those things. Um, something to, something to do with, you know, necessity right? Necessity. Um, and that has to do with balanced spirituality and practicality. Um, not feeling set upon, not feeling cursed, not feeling angry with God because this person is back in your life and you have to deal with, or you have to deal with this crap, this responsibility that you don't want to confront. Ultimately, it's realizing, okay, that doesn't mean that I'm not blessed and it doesn't mean that my life is shitty. It just means that God knows right now I have the strength to be able to handle this. I have the strength to be able to deal with this like no other time. And it's true. You have a lot of energy and a lot of momentum. Jupiter is heading into Aquarius. Saturn is heading into Aquarius. Believe me when I tell you, you are getting some major energy flooding into your sign. You will have the energy, you will have the wisdom, and you will have the fortune and the luck to be able to handle situations that even the situations that made you feel uncomfortable. Now, be yourself out loud. And I think that that's kind of the secret that I'm seeing is be yourself out loud. Be your crazy, chaotic, um, super beautiful self out loud. It's almost like confronting this person is is part of what's helping you set yourself free emotionally because they could have had something directly to do with um, your emotions shutting down to begin with, especially if they somehow bullied you in the past or something. So understand that when you confront them again, it's a beautiful cathartic moment because um, you'll realize they have no power over me. I don't, I don't need them in my life anymore. I'm pretty much, uh, you know, I don't, I don't care what they think about me. And it's true. Um, there is something sort of innately manipulative manipulative about their energy um but you realize their mechanisms and their machinations and and you don't let it you don't let yourself come to it anymore it's almost like you're just it's genius it, after this confrontation is when your inspiration really starts to unfurl and unflow there's a lot of dancing going on here crazy wonderful dancing so that could very well be another way to get your creative juices flowing is to just fucking start dancing Dance in your underwear. Dance crazy. Dance like dance like nobody is watching. Maybe nobody is. Like, but that's it's another way to like get into your body, get your creativity into your body, and get yourself flowing out loud so that you remember who the fuck you are and you get emboldened <clears throat> and you let other people see who the fuck you are. Remembering who you are. Um, it could also be just literally you're engaged or involved in some sort of choreography or or putting on a performance or something something that's going to be viewed by others uh, uh, like literally but I, I really do feel like this is more just like um really really having this beautiful moment of wow my future is actually mine now there's nobody else that's going to hold me back and and it's it's mine now I've created this so nobody can really take it away nobody can take it away from me um it's an empowering moment uh, where you don't care what somebody thinks about you anymore and you realize that their opinion of you doesn't really fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is your spirit guide messages coming at you right now. Aquarius, let's see. So believe in yourself. There's a lot of self-doubt here and this is coming from the past. But so this is something, this is, this is the cathartic moment of this week of finally being able to articulate 
um, all the shame, all the hurt, all the suffering, articulate how um, bad somebody made you feel or how yeah, devalued or how somebody made you doubt yourself over and over and over again. Um, and ultimately, there's a sense of realizing that's a script somebody else gave you. It's not a script that I'm giving any. Uh, it's not a script that I wrote. And it's you claiming your independence from feeling like shit about yourself. Any kind of. And now you never let people know that you feel like shit about yourself. On the outside, you'll always present yourself as very confident. But then you have those because you don't like to be vulnerable out loud, but you're having this moment of um, catharsis in your life right now where you're just really allowing yourself to own the fact that, yeah, I, I, I really didn't, don't believe in myself or I, you know, I really feel like shit about this part of myself. And, and I am, in other words, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable and in allowing yourself to be vulnerable, there is that sense of, so once again, this is Aries energy. It's almost like in some ways, you know, cats constantly chase squirrels. So there's a sense of somebody, somebody's confidence or overconfidence repressed you or pushed you down and didn't really let you grow and plant the seeds that you needed. Um, but now it's time. Um, you had a lot of ideas that were springing out of you then, and maybe those ideas were squashed along with your self-esteem. Well, those ideas are coming back, right? It's just like, it's like return of Aquarius. It's the return of the Aquarius. Um, uh, surrender now. So there's hesitation here. Uh, you don't want to get burnt. You're trying to avoid getting burnt again. You would really rather avoid any kind of confrontation. Um, okay. I understand. And this is, this is Sagittarius season. Um, trust in the magic. Okay. Um, this is your energy and this is a new beginning and a new start. It's also a new mindset and seeing things from a different perspective. Um, so it's almost like, um, refusing to surrender your ideas, refusing to surrender what you know you earned, refusing to, refusing to, it's like you don't want to damage or risk the beautiful new future that you, that you know that you have, but you won't be damaging or risking it. There's no such thing. You earned this. Uh, take time out. This is a grizzly bear, right? Um, you're stepping back from something. You're stepping back from something. And in some ways, I think you're stepping back from pushing so hard. Uh, it could be you're taking some days off of work or just needing a break and to pull back for a second. Because that may have been what it was also exac exacerbating you being stuck. The sense of doing too much and pushing too hard. Um, and ultimately doing that and pulling back and giving yourself a little bit of, of space, not smothering the new baby. It's like, it's like you, you don't have to sit on the egg anymore. The baby's hatched, right? Give it some space, give it some room because while the egg needs the heat and the protection, the new baby bird needs the space to flap its wings. So there's a sense of take the pressure off, right? And, and allow it to fly. Don't have to dominate it and, and, um, um, you don't have to dominate it in order to protect it, right? There's This is that, that scary sense of, well, now you need to let it fly, whether it's an idea or a person in your life or you yourself. Um, once again, shaky wings, but uh, shaky wings need to not be suffocated. They need room to flap and to get stronger. Sweet results await. So stepping back is actually exactly what you need right now, is to just like not push and not be pushed and not let anybody push you beyond your, yes, you need to step into your discomfort zone. Yes, but it has to be you stepping in and you taking the time that you need with it and with the space around you right? It isn't comfortable. This is, this isn't comfortable, but you know, it has to be done. Just like a, just like a mama bird isn't comfortable, but they know they have to let the kid, the little, the little chick, the little baby bird fly, right? They have to, um, this is going to be a hard moment for you, but also a beautiful, like a, like, um, um, a triumphant moment for you. So it, it has the dynamics of both of those things going on. Uh, let me get into um, the angel messages. If you have not yet subscribed, 
please subscribe to the channel. You can click that button below. Um, and then you also please click the bell so that you get notified when I upload all of my content. And your favorite Aquarius specific content comes out every single Wednesday. So it's going to be here and ready available for you. So um, please do ring the bell so you get notified of that. Also join me over on Vimeo. That link is below. That's the extended reading. So I'm going to articulate all of these um energies these oracle card energies into real world like the gritty details is what i call them um and you can hop over there right now or hang out for the angel messages um but also you can join me on um instagram monday through friday i do a live video on instagram a daily tarot card reading on instagram um general reading and we can just like shoot the shit because i'm live over there so i welcome you to come follow me over there as well uh as well as if you subscribe to the vimeo channel you will definitely be um uh, you can subscribe directly there and you'll have access to the extended readings about a day before uh day before um you get access over here fyi Surrender. Ooh, there is no point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There is an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. So that's what it is like stepping back, not um, giving up or running away, but just stepping back and seeing where, where would the universe direct me right now. Fear. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. And I keep seeing angel, like, I keep seeing double numbers for you. I saw 1414 14, and I just saw 2525. 25. So you could be very well gearing up for some sort of soulmate or divine counterpart interaction. Prayer. No matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Ask. We are listening. So that's you being able to allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to speak your needs out loud. It's essential right now. Um, but you need the strength and the love of yourself to do it. So that comes first. Sacred source, we, your angels, are here to remind you of your magnificence. You are literally an angel in the making, a being of eternal love and light, forever one with God, goddess, and all creation. So you better get your ass back up on that spiritual throne. But not only that, knowing that you're always loved and that you're always protected. And so even though it's perceived vulnerability, your angels and your ancestors, they have your back, Aquarius. They love you. And I just heard this. Maybe part of this fear could be about them, an ancestor, not being proud of you or being or want, like not being proud of you or they disowned you maybe in real life, you know, or you, you think that they would have disapproved of your life choices. Well, that's their own. That was their 3D world ignorance and fear. Now that they are an angel and pure light, there's nothing but love. So when your ancestors surround you, they don't do it to haunt you or hurt you. They're just there to protect you and love you unconditionally because they're in a space of unconditional love now. Uh, they've rejoined source and that's what source is. It's, it's God. It's unconditional love. So there, it, all of those things are just 3D perceptions and you can release them and relinquish them knowing that you're just, they just surround you. All they have is love for you. They just want the best for you right now. Remember, you are the fulfillment of their line. You're their living force right now. So ultimately, you're very important. They, they want to help you. Um, clarity. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angel. Let's go to tarot. I will see you guys over in the extended. The link is below.